Aspiring lawyers and students often reach out to me to ask me what my top application tips are. And one of my top tips is always to apply early. Not only does it look good if you get your application in early because it's shown you've been organized with your time and prioritized doing it, it can actually increase your chances of succeeding in that application round. And in this video, I'm going to explain how. It's no secret that law firms get loads of applications, maybe in the thousands, each application cycle. And there are actually people on the other side of that application submit form that have to read through all the applications and decide whether to go ahead with them or not. And as law firms are faced with the challenge of going through loads and loads of applications, one way that they choose to deal with that is by recruiting on a rolling basis. Now, recruiting on a rolling basis means that although there is an actual deadline given, the firms will start reading the applications as soon as they're sent in. Instead of waiting for all the applications to pile up throughout the application window and then starting with the top of the pile at the end, they'll just start reading them as and when they come in. And this is a really, really important point for applicants to understand because it makes a huge incentive for early appliers. This is because if grad recruitment read an application that they really, really like, they're going to offer one of the limited spaces to that person then and there. After that, naturally, there'll be one fewer spaces available on that scheme. The best way to explain this is through a demonstration. So let's make up a law firm and we'll call it Smithrow LLP. The firm recruits on a rolling basis and its application window is only open for five days because just that's how they roll at Smithrow LLP. Let's also assume that the firm only has 20 VAC scheme positions. So each one of the circles here represents one VAC scheme position. Obviously, as the firm's band one rated in all practice areas and pays trainees £130,000 a year, it's gonna get loads and loads of applications. On day one, GradRec received 20 applications from some super organized candidates. They've read the lot and they've spotted typos in 15 of the applications, but five of them are good. So these five get five of the slots. Now, on day two, they get 25 applications and they think six of them are good enough. Already at this stage, there are 11 slots that are gone. Day three, another five good applications appear. Now, by the start of day four, while the application window is still open, 16 of the 20 slots are already gone. There are only four slots left. And here's where you start to see the incentive to apply early if a firm is recruiting on a rolling basis. Today, the firm receives another bunch of applications and six of them are good enough. Because they only have four slots left, they pick the best four of the six and they get the slots. This means that the ones who are fifth and sixth best on that fourth day would probably have got onto the VAC scheme if they had applied earlier in the cycle as they'd have been competing for more available slots. With rolling recruitment, as the slots are filled up over time, the odds of getting through fall due to the competition for limited spaces. The ones who applied last minute on day five couldn't get past this stage as Smith Throw's grad recruitment team had already filled all their spaces. So while that was quite obviously a massive oversimplification of how applications work and how rolling recruitment works, I hope it's still demonstrated to you the incentive to applying early if a firm is recruiting on a rolling basis. To put it way more simply, the earlier you apply, the more slots will be available to you. A lot of firms, and maybe even most firms, are recruiting on a rolling basis right now. And that means that there might be a deadline posted on their website, but the graduate recruitment team are reading applications as soon as they come through. I also want to emphasize at this point that while I've spoken about how you can increase your chances of getting through, that application process isn't a game of chance. You're still gonna have to write a really good application to get through to the next stage. This tip is just one thing that may be able to help you out. So the moral of the story is get your application submitted early. I know that's really difficult to do when you're balancing work and uni and life and social life and everything else. But I think it's at least worth bearing in mind when you're choosing which applications to send off first. You might think it's best to spend weeks and weeks researching to perfect your application to your favorite firm, but you might be better off just getting that in a bit earlier. Personally, I started doing this only in my final round of applications. I started getting my applications in way earlier and I saw a massive increase in my success. Anyway, that brings us to the end of this video. As always, I wanna know what you thought, so leave a thumbs up or a thumbs down or a comment down below. Also, if you're doing law firm applications right now, consider subscribing because I'll be putting out some more application related videos too. I've also got an Instagram page where I post updates and get video ideas as well. So make sure you follow me and if you've got a topic that I haven't covered before, just send me a DM. Anyway, I hope you enjoyed this. I hope you found it helpful and I'll catch you next time.